Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a short tutorial on how to create a landing page in GetResponse. Before the tutorial begins, I'd like to mention that there is a link to a free trial of GetResponse in the description below. So if you scroll down to the description, click that link, it'll take you to a completely, entirely free trial of GetResponse. With that said, let's move on with the tutorial. So what you first want to do is go to Tools and click Landing Pages. Clicking that will bring us to this page. So now we click create landing page and that'll bring up all of these available templates that we can use. Um, we also have the option to build from scratch, but it's probably going to be easier for you to just pick a template. So scrolling through, let's pick um, this bakery one. I'm going to name the website Bella's Bakery. And then we just click next step and that should open the editing space for us. So here we are. Now, if you move your mouse over the page, you'll immediately see there's lots of things we can interact with. So if you just double click on the text, that'll give you the ability to edit it. If we double click here, um, this is a video. So this gives us the ability to paste in a different URL if we want to embed a video. Um, if we scroll down a bit, we've got these images here. Um, so if we go to replace, we can then pick any image we want from the ones that GetResponse has provided us. We also have this search tool to type in anything a bit more relevant. So that'll bring up um, all of these nice cake photos. So that's how you can edit stuff um, just on the page. But then also on the side here, we've got all these editing tools. Now, if you just hover your mouse over them, you can immediately, immediately see what each one does. Um, so first of all, we have the product box. So you can use this to add in a store. Um, you can name it, um, select the currency, and then it'll give you all these other options that you can go through, but we'll just cancel that for now. We also have the ability to just do simple things like add text, add image. We can also add a button if we like. Um, and then you can easily just delete those by hitting the little uh, trash can button. We also have the ability to add a form, which you might find useful. So I've edited this a little bit now. I'm going to show you now what you can do once you're finished. Um, so if you wanted to preview how this looks, you can go to this button here and that'll bring up a new tab where you can preview all the edits you've made to your website. You can also see the same thing for the mobile version of the website. And to go back to the editing space, we'll just close that tab. Then when you've decided you're um, either done or maybe want to come back to this later, you have the op option to save. So you can either save and come back to it later, but I've decided that I'm done for now. So I'm just going to go to next step. Um, it'll bring up this message sometime if you haven't looked at it on the mobile version. So we'll return to editor. That'll immediately take us to the mobile editing space. Um, but I'm a bit uninterested in that today. So we're going to go into proceed. And then that will just load the final page for us. So now we've just got a couple general editing things we can do, but it's quite simple. So we've got, um, first of all, things related to the SEO, like the title and the description. We'll close that for now. We've also got the ability to add in our URL. Um, so get responses generated one um, just here, but if you have a subdomain, you can add that in yourself. We've also got the subscription settings. Um, so you can choose which mailing list you want this to go to. I've just got it set to my default mailing list right now. We also have the ability to toggle this to confirmed opt-in, which just means your mailing list will only go to people who have confirmed opted into the mailing list, just to make sure everyone you're sending to is serious about um, what they've signed up for. Um, going down, we have these other things at the bottom. Um, these aren't essential to creating your landing page, but you might find them useful. So you can open those out like that. 
Um, but I think I'm pretty happy with my website now. So we're gonna go to publish. And then that's just published our landing page for us. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. And like I said, there is a free trial link in the description below for GetResponse. So if you just go down to the description, click that link, and it'll take you to a completely free trial of GetResponse. Uh, but yeah, that was the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.